could affect their father's health if the assisted living facility compels them to move. The judge decided to allow Matt supervised visitation for one hour a week. Jonathan. This is absolutely infuriating and ridiculous at the same time, because who better to care for an ailing parent than the children who are looking out for their best interests? And that's exactly what this family is saying. Why are these guardians given that much power, and why in the world is any judge agreeing with them, in a, especially in a case like that? Well, again, you have the situation where the judges and the courts believe that a court-appointed guardian is able to come in as a neutral arbiter. And, and in fact, this family, these children invited uh, this guardian to come on in. So this family and other families we've said we've talked to are saying make sure you know what you're doing especially have a, another situation like a, a, a some sort of revocable trust mm. uh, instead of bringing in a guardian sounds like change is needed there now that's what's happening nathan thank you for that you report now turning to weather tracking a storm watch seven weather alert bill standing by for us what's the latest yeah bill? we have a severe thunderstorm warning we're keeping our eyes on what we're looking at right now is we're at dallas we're at the uh, air and space center we're looking down to the southwest uh, northern parts of fauquier county this is what's uh, pushing into you folks around warrington and notice how dark that is that is a, a heavy rain band no question about it temperatures right now mid and upper 70s it's sticky outside the humidity is around and that is going to continue to track off to the east. Nothing in the metro right now. Give it probably 45 minutes to an hour, and this line right here is going to be pushing that direction. It's racing at about 40 miles per hour. When we zoom on down, you see these areas of red. I mean, this is some very heavy rainfall. In fact, we're going to use uh, one of our tools here, which is not smoke and mirrors. It's actually the radar, which scans the sky. And what it does when we take the 3D slice, it can look up in the storm. And it's one of the ways we see if there's hail out there. And if I take this and I slice it, we're looking at some of these returns. They're called echoes, where the radar's picking up some rain or hail. I mean, these are up into the 30, 32,000 foot range. So some hail in there, but there's a lot of moisture that is associated with this. And when you kind of look at the overall big picture, it extends quite a distance up into sections of northern Fauquier County, down through uh, Rappahannock County and into Culpeper County, where we do have, at this point in time, a severe thunderstorm warning. It's moving at 40, as I mentioned. So as this whole thing moves off to the east, we're looking at Manassas right around 638. Uh, the D.C. Metro, 708. So give it like 7 to 730 within the Beltway, first west to the east, and that cell will move across, bringing some rain on the low end, some stronger to potentially severe storms on the higher end. We're watching that, Alexandria. Uh, Alexandria right around 710, but as I mentioned, the current warning right now is that severe thunderstorm warning that is down there, and that is in through parts of uh, those counties I just mentioned up until uh, 630 at this point. We'll let you know if they end up extending that. Otherwise, severe thunderstorm watch in effect for all of the other areas that you see uh, on the map. Now, in terms of what's going on hour by hour forecast, here it is at 7 o'clock, that line pushing across the region uh, through the I-95 corridor down to parts of Stafford County, and then into Southern Maryland, you folks into Calvert County, Anne Arundel County, uh, down near Leonardtown, for example, Charles County. This is into the 7 to 8 o'clock time frame. Then we get into the 9 o'clock time, and then it's all out of our area. Once we hit about 9, uh, that's going to move out. Slight risk category from the Storm Prediction Center, meaning scattered severe storms are possible. They're going to update that at 9. No question, they're going to pull that slight risk down in my mind uh, at 9 o'clock. But that's where we are now. 92 on Saturday. It's a very unsettled weather pattern, guys, as we make our way into our Mother's Day weekend and beyond with warm temperatures, chance of storms, and some humid air. Bill, thanks very much. And weather permitting, Bill will be taking his weather on the go tomorrow. It is Math and Science Day with NASA at Six Flags America. Smell roller coasters, don't oh, you? Many. Aaron, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I love weather on the go. Can't wait. And he's back. Tom Wilson's suspension is over, and now the Caps impact player is opening up about his time on the bench and the hit that landed him there. That's next. Big is always been. It's like tiny ribs. Holy cow, it's a big ribs. Now that's a rib. Very meaty. Why well, have tiny when you have big? Friday's full rack of big ribs, $12.99. Get them here or get them to go. Buying new windows is more than just picking out a frame and glass. Window Nation has over 1,500 options and name brands to choose from. And it starts with style. How about casement, slider, or double hung? Great choice. Now choose your material, energy efficient glass. And now your color. Let Window Nation custom build and install each window to fit your home and your wallet. Now get 50% off every style and color of window, plus Window Nation will cut your monthly payment in half. Visit windownation.com.